back to Reactions at Rock. I am Seth, a former radio DJ and currently a guy who has apparently angered many, many, many of you uh, with my impatience and intolerance for slow, sad music. Yes, I did the Lose Yourself uh, reaction video to Casey Chambers, the live Eminem cover, and while sitting in my studio and listening to it, to me, it felt like it was very, very slow. And I made a few comments about that, and some of you really, really, really piled on me. I have thick skin. It's okay. I'm used to it. This is just, I'm just one guy with one opinion. It's totally cool. I get it. That being said, I have listened to the song a few more times, and I, every time I listen to it, if I'm not sitting in a studio watching it, it does not feel as slow as it felt when I did my reaction video. It seems like relatively normal pacing. I had two things that worked against me when I filmed that video, and I'm going to tell you what those are right now. I'm not making excuses, because it is what it is, but I'm just telling you. First, when you take a song that is so fast and upbeat, you know, not lyrically, but just kind of moving, as the Eminem version is, and I don't know what I'm getting into... And when I hit that play button, and it's a very, very, very emotionally slow, drawn-out intro that builds, which it did build, um, it just, my brain was already expecting something close to the Eminem pacing. And I think that did a huge disservice, because when it didn't, when it was much slower, I think the difference in tempo was magnified by my expectations. And that's on me, I own that. Uh, secondly, I have seen a million different musicians play live. I have been to over a thousand concerts. I've seen over 10,000 bands in my lifetime. I have gone to bars and watched unknown, unnamed, unsigned people pour their heart and soul into a song. And what happens almost exclusively every single time in the more whiskey dive bar type of places is you have a lone person with a guitar and they take a song from pop music or from, you know, a popular rock song, and they do the same thing. They slow it down till it's almost torture. Radiohead Creep, I'm looking at you, because for some reason the bar guys love doing that song, and they just grind it so slow, because they're looking for the emotion. They want to pull that raw emotion out. And I'm not trying to knock local musicians. They're phenomenal unsigned talents out there. But a lot of the guys don't put the heart and soul into it, they just slow it down. And my brain also went there. I was drawn back to sitting in a bar, listening to somebody do Say Hello to Heaven at one-fourth of the speed, and it just, it didn't win me over until it picked up. And if you stayed around, first of all, if you're going to call me impatient and you're not patient enough to fast forward to my conclusion, hi, pot, I'm Kettle, if you know what I mean. But... Yes, I was impatient. I wanted it to kick in a little faster, and it didn't. However, in my conclusion, I gave it rave reviews. She had a fantastic voice. I really did love the raw emotion of it. And with all of that in mind, I'm going to check out Casey Chambers again. Now, I was told this is a song I need to check out if I'm going to do it justice. It's called Not Pretty Enough, and it's my understanding that this was kind of her breakout single. I may be wrong, I may be right, um... And I may be a lunatic you're looking for. Sorry, I went there. Um, but this is with Keith Urban, I guess two Aussies. And this is 11 years old. I have never heard this. Um, I know nothing about pretty much both of these. Um, but this was one of the versions that popped up when I looked for this. And as you know, I go in blind. So I don't listen to 15 different versions to see which one is going to resonate the best with you. I just pick one that looks like something that I should hear. And I fired up. And I did want to do live. I did want to do... Uh, I didn't want to do the album version because her voice, I think, is a live music voice that needs to be heard with minimal production to it because she does have a fantastically raw emotional voice and I want to hear that. So I'm going to fire it up. I'm going to shut up and play it. Uh, stick around till the end. You might like what I say. But again, I'm honest. I tell you exactly how I feel. It's very, very easy to do a reaction video and love every song I hear. That's called pandering, and I will never pander to you. I will always be honest with my opinion. You may like it, you may not, but you should at least 
I don't want to say you should respect me. That's respect is earned, blah, blah, blah. But at least appreciate the fact that I am being honest with you, even to the detriment of myself. If it slows the growth of my channel, I'm totally fine with that. If if you say I'm never subscribing to you, you're a jerk because I didn't like a song you love, I'm fine with that. Because I would rather be honest than pander. Pandering doesn't mean anything. Uh, honesty is everything. And I've talked way too long, so we're going to fire it up. Casey Chambers, Keith Urban, not pretty enough. Uh, 13 years old from the 2001 Area Awards, uh, which I'm assuming is... Australian Radio International Arts or something. Somebody's got to tell me below. You got to tell me. Um, I'm not familiar with the Area Awards, but let's just fire this. And we start with emotional guitar. I like it. Okay, I'm just going to stop it right there. That is the emotional voice that I did love. It was It's raw. Uh, she may have sang this a million times by the time she's up here on this stage, but it feels like she's pouring her heart out for the first time. So I do appreciate that. Um, it's, it feels like maybe her voice got a little more gruff in the last 10 or so years since this was filmed. But um, I, I dig it. This is an emotional song she's pouring her heart and soul out here to the audience and i do i respect that why do you see right through me? I will, I breathe, I let it rain on me. i sleep i wait i try hard now. Yeah, Keith Urban is definitely pretty enough. He looks like the missing member of the Goo Goo Dolls. He looks like uh, he looks like a soccer mom dropping the kids off in the minivan. Seriously, I know I'm teasing Keith Urban, and that's not why anybody's here. Somebody's got to be here for the Keith Urban jokes. If that's you, share your favorite Keith Urban joke down below. I don't know. Uh, do we have Keith Urban jokes other than me just running my mouth? Uh, yeah, and clearly I'm not pretty enough. They used to tell me I had a, a face for radio, if that tells you anything. So... Here I am, deal with it. But anyway, um, and yes, glass houses, stones, all that stuff. Uh, Casey Chambers' voice, it, it does sound younger here. I mean, I know it was younger, but this makes me appreciate Lose Yourself a little bit more, too, because she's found more depth and maturity in the soulfulness of her voice since this came out. And this is good. This just sounds almost like, even though she's emotional, she hasn't quite been through it yet, which would be surprising because some of you have told me she's pretty much been through it in this industry. But this sounds like almost like there's still hope and um, and I can appreciate that. Also, I love the message. I think we may have all felt that way. Am I not good enough? I don't know if she's singing this to a guy or if she's singing this to the music industry. Uh, both of these could work because the music industry does have a particular type of woman they like to promote. You don't have to be the best singer on the planet if you have a perfect face and a perfect body and all that stuff. Um, yes, sex still sells in 2024 and 2001 for that matter. But um, so this could be a heartfelt song to a guy saying, am I not everything you're looking for? Or it could be bigger than that saying, hey, music industry, what the hell? Am I not good enough for you? What's wrong with you? Not not what's wrong with me. So I, I I'm digging it. Uh, let's let's see where it goes. And yes, it kicked in a little bit quicker than the lose yourself cover. So I'm you know I'm content with that too.
okay, quickly, I like Keith Urban, don't get me wrong, but I think we didn't need him here. Um, she carries this just fine without him. Um, so this was, from where I sit, maybe this was what they call the rub, given her the rub from Keith Urban. Uh, if I've spent some time in the wonderful world of professional wrestling. Um, yes, I know it's not real. But anyway, I did voice work there because everybody just loves this voice. And um, there's, a, there's this thing called the rub where when you are maybe a lesser known entity and you work with somebody who's a bigger superstar, it raises your stock. You get a, a, a bump. You get you more eyes on you you kind of it's a rising tide lifting all ships type deal um so i that to me is probably what the intent of this was was to put keith urban up here with her so that she, people would watch for keith and f discover her uh and if i'm wrong let me know but that's a hundred percent what i'm sticking with because that's the vibe i'm getting from it but we didn't need him she stands solidly on her own i understand the song i understand the emotion and he's uh, he could have been anybody or nobody right there, and um, the song would have been just fine. Okay, yeah, we could have replaced Keith Urban with a steel guitar or something, um, and anybody playing it. We could have thrown a kangaroo up there sitting at a table with a glass slide on his fingers. Do, do kangaroos have fingers? I don't know. Keith Urban, I love you, buddy. Not necessary. You did not have to be there. But given how he j stayed so in the background on that song, I think he knows he didn't have to be there either. And I think he just did what he was asked to do to get up on stage and let her shine, and props for that too, because it's very, very easy to pop up there and overtake a performance, and he felt no desire to do that there, and I love that. Okay. <sighs> you know how I feel about the Lose Yourself cover. I've I've gone over it. Maybe I'll throw a link to it somewhere, or a card, or whatever they call them when I just pop it up there, whatever. Or you, could, you can look it out if you care. I The first half of that song, I was not particularly kind and the second half made up for it and I ended up over like I think I really 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 enjoyed it in the end um, and I think I gave it like a a solid nine out of ten as far as and we, which is great because we don't really do ratings here anyway but it, that's where it fell for me like it, I liked it more than I didn't by the time it was all said and done um, but this was kind of what I was hoping for once I realized there was kind of like a, a country there's a little bit of like a Celtic folk to her voice. Um, so it, it's got that, that stage presence where she can carry it just by pouring the emotion into it. And um, I, I like that. This was a song that stands alone on its own. Um, again, I fully respect the cover. I've got nothing bad to say about it. I've listened to it a few more times in the car and the... It wasn't as slow as I remember it being when I sat here staring at myself on a TV. But um, I wanted to check out an original. I wanted to check out her in what I would consider her natural element, not doing a cover, not doing somebody else's song, just pouring her heart and soul into her song. And I enjoy it. It's I'm, I'm a rock and roll metal kind of guy. I've been listening to a little more folk and a little more country and believe it or not, a little more bluegrass. So my appreciation for that style, that genre of music has increased significantly. And I enjoyed this. Um, the message is very, very loud and clear. And like I said, it could be twofold. She could be talking to a man or she could be talking to the entire music industry that hasn't given her the chance to shine because they're too busy looking for the young hot thing to sweep in here and make all the guys buy their girlfriends the, the album. Nobody buys CDs anymore, do they? Am I the only guy? 
we we Spotify it and we Amazon it and other things. Yeah. Um, yeah, I know. I still have a Pandora. It's weird, but I'm old. That's what we do. I'm Gen X. I'm not giving up my ways now. So overall, I actually enjoy this. I, this, I, and I don't even want to call it redemption because it's not, because I didn't dislike the lose yourself cover, but this was her and her natural element. And I felt this more than I felt that. Yes, she was pouring her heart and soul and her emotion into that cover, but she was doing it singing somebody else's words, which is always just a little tricky to do. And for the record and way off topic, it's the same reason I'm not super infatuated with the Fast Cars uh, cover by Luke Combs, because he's singing a song from the girl's perspective. Now, yes, he did that so that she could, that Tracy Chapman could get full writing credits on his version. I totally get that. I understand that. I respect the hell out of it. But it does make it a little harder to get into when you're listening to somebody sing uh, from somebody else's perspective. And I think that's maybe what lost it for me. And speaking of lost it, oh, ain't technology great. Yeah, okay. I'm back. Camera froze. Yay. Maybe I should invest some money in this channel. What do you think? I already spent like a hundred and something dollars on a cool colored backdrop. Is that not enough sticky soundproofing? Spend some money on the equipment. Spend some money on a real host. Oh, that's terrible. No, seriously, though. So I guess that's my clue to wrap it up. I've been talking way too long. Casey Chambers, not pretty enough with Keith Urban. That's a thumbs up from me. I felt the emotion. I felt the what I wanted to feel from Lose Yourself, where it was her emotion poured into her lyrics, poured out into you. And I guess we're getting more and more camera issues. Is that really happening? Is everything getting fuzzy? Am I tricking it? Oh, boy. Well, yep. This is Casey. <laughs> this is Casey Chambers' revenge on me. I guess I earned it. I deserved it. Now I get to spend some money on a real camera. Great! Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Hit me some thumbs up or down. Whatever you think I deserve is totally fine. I get it. I understand it. I have thick skin. It's okay. It's not going to hurt. Well, you know, no, I'm a baby. It's going to hurt my feelings. Do what you got to do. Tell me what other songs I should check out also in the comments if you want to. Uh, help me redeem myself for what you all piled on me for, for Lose Yourself, which was actually not a bad review uh, or reaction video. And uh, thank you so much. And I've been doing different uh, sign-offs every time I do this. So I'm just going to leave you with this one. Uh, as they say out west, thanks for watching and happy trails. I need a new camera.